One of the biggest tips for this season, I would say, is finding the right location. With this season, they added bones and metal. So, if you're trying to find a location that has bones to get the drum shotgun or the primal AR, then I would suggest going to places that have bones or animal, like uh, bony burbs, colossal crops, and just other places around the map that have bones. But if you're trying to go for a big pump, or a, right, or a scar, or an AR, I would suggest landing at a uh, junkyard. And if you don't know where Junkyard, it's near Dirty, and near a gas station. Loot there, you get a bunch of metal. There's tons of metal that you could collect here. There's about, if you collect all the metal here, there's about 14 to 16 metal scraps that you could collect all around the junkyard and if you're trying to purple scar and a purple pump this is one of the best locations to land and when you land at those locations you're able to get a big pump or a regular pump and a regular ar or a scar off the bat so you have the advantage over those people who still have the shift ar or shotgun and that is one of the biggest ways to have advantage over your opponents almost every time and like i said finding the right location because if you're landing somewhere that has a lot of people but very little loot and you're dying almost every time if you want to keep on landing there but if you don't want to keep on landing if you feel like you keep on dying and you're not improving at all try to find a location that has good loot has good yeah, it maybe has people around the area, but it's not too much. Because if you have no people late game, unless you're just that type of person that just does good all game without getting a single kill, I would suggest going somewhere where there's some people so at least you could get that early game uh, practice just getting kills on people so then late game you could do better if you're that type of person that does better late game when you get kills at the start or you just rush a bunch of people and when you do that it will help your end game a lot because like i said if you're a person that likes rushing people early game and does better end game because of that go to a location that has a little bit of people or somewhere that has good loot so if you rush somewhere else it has people or late or towards middle game you're able to find people with good loot without having a shift ar or shotgun because i mean unless you get a legendary chest and you get a scar or a pump out of it most likely you're not going to get a big pump without going to a place that has metal or bones somewhere to get the loot that you're trying to get if you're the type of person if you're the type of person that just camps all game then really this is not really a good season to do that because if you think about it most of the locations that have metal more people or bones more people are gonna land there because it's gonna have the loot they need to be able to make it to end game or just to be able to get kills because of how minimal damage the the makeshift does sometimes or the primal ar because of or the the makeshift they are because of the accuracy that it has so like i said if you're a camper or something, I wouldn't suggest going to places that have... Like, if you're a camper and you find a place that has metal, good for you. Keep on landing there, and you'll be able to get free metal and or whatever you're trying to get and be able to make it to endgame easily probably because of the loot you have but if you're just getting into arena one of the biggest things is practice i know a lot of people don't practice and they just expect to do super good and some people are super good without any practice but other people don't do as good with without practice so if you're that type of person i would go into creative recently uh, i haven't been playing creative i feel like it's way laggier than in game but uh yesterday i started playing a little bit and just playing like quick box fights and 1v1 realistics and i did a lot better but if you're a person who barely could edit or barely could build or hit your shots I would suggest doing edit practices, aim practices, things that will help improve what you're missing. But if you're missing, improving, 
against players. I would suggest playing like box fights, just things that help you build a lot or edit a lot. Because when you do maps that help you with those things, you'll do way better. Your best effort to practice, you'll get way better. Trust me, between last season and this season, I have improved so much. And one of those things is if you're a person who's still on Combat Pro or anything besides Builder Pro right now, I'm telling you, if you, unless you want to be a YouTuber who is a person who just plays on Combat Pro or other type of settings besides settings or Builder Pro, keep on keep on going. If you really want to improve and really want to be the best playing on custom settings builder pro i'm not going to tell you my settings for things or anything because if you want to get better you can't just video and copy other people's settings you have to find settings that are right for you because those settings that are right for you well you got to choose your options the way you think and you know you're going to do better so if you're doing bad most likely it's because you are limiting yourself to how good you can play and you can't make an excuse it's because of the console you're playing on but most of it is your settings and the way you're playing or the way you're practicing trust me just today i started i changed my build and edit way faster just by changing two settings so if you're a person who just likes the settings the way they are and you feel like you're playing the best you can and you're doing the best ever and you're able to get free points in arena or you're able to do super good then don't don't change your settings if you're if you're doing fine then don't change your settings. no point but if you're a type of person that plays regular solos or regular duos, any of the regular game modes, and plays on creative only, and you're trying to go competitive, just just stop playing only regular game modes. You gotta start playing. You gotta start playing in arena and stuff because just playing creative and arena and regular solos and stuff is not gonna help you play arena. That's like playing a sport and playing at and you're trying to go pro, but you're playing at a bad level or an easy level how are you gonna get better if you're just going against easy players it's just not gonna happen so you really have to improve and show that you're able to make it i mean you can play solos and play creative and be good at arena but most people grind arena and play creative a little bit and they do a lot better trust me if you just play creative or play arena all day you're gonna play way better than just playing against some some good players and other people that are just literal bots that fortnite added so well that's basically it and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed but that's like basically the biggest and most efficient ways or way to get better at the game if you're really trying to get to competitive or you're really trying to play in tournaments better you could either watch another video if this wasn't helpful or you could listen to some of my advice and trust me you'll play way better because this season i noticed a big improvement from last season even though last season was the first season that I switched to Builder Pro because I really wanted to start it going competitive last season. But this season, I have noticed a big improvement, not just building and everything from switching, but also a big improvement in skill just by doing simple steps or simple ways of being able to get advantage over your players just by going to simple locations or just by doing simple little edits practices or just getting those little peak shots or anything that really advantage over your opponents so if this helped you guys in any way and you want to hear or see more videos like this just comment down below or like the video and anyway that's it